What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. So, welcome to part two. If you guys watched part one. Hopefully you guys liked it and learned something from it. So, in part two I'll be trying to take out the crankshaft out of the APB block for the B5S4. Uh, may run into a little bit of a situation and a little bit of unorthodox mechanic work I guess. So, I'm going to have to take it. I'll have to take it off of the engine stand to try and get to the rear main seat case. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> and uh, this crank bolt needs to be removed so I can take this whole case off so the crank will fall out. Um, that'd be a pain in the ass as well. So hopefully my Harbor Freight Impact can take it out. So let's begin. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get out. I would try as much to put enough torque on it with my breaker bar. Uh, kind of scared of I'm going to break the lock pin because the lock pin it slides into a hole in the crankshaft itself so it should be snug in there so shouldn't be able to break it off so first attempt um, actually not first attempt I tried my uh, Chicago Electric Harbor Freight Impact but the only way you get this out man is either break a bar with a pipe or ear tool so wish me luck Damn, ain't this thing a pitta? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> little powerlifting strength. Yeah, man. A little heat helped a bit. But you gotta, you gotta put some muscle into this shit, man. Here go. I think you're supposed to replace these bolts in that one time each, so. No. last ones I kid you not guys these bolts are down with some pretty good friggin tour man put so much strength into this shit man I feel like I'm getting a hernia or something damn get this one guys here we go <laughs> I know it's scary every time man but Last one. Damn, here she goes. Ah, oh. all right. Not a plug. Impact. Not impact. Sorry. Well, impact. I got these pretty much loose. I can go ahead and take them off real quick. I'm gonna show the diagram of the torquing sequence. Um, the Bentley manual doesn't show. Um, unloosen them part but it shows the tightening and I just basically go in the reverse outwards in and when you're torquing them inwards out so, yeah
So, as you can see, crank is out. Got the oil squirter sitting down there. And the bearings, plus washers at the side. And yeah, wasn't too bad. Um, I'll show y'all the crank. So, um, missing fortune that happened to me this morning after leaving work. Tired as hell. Show sure y'all know we can relate. Got a freaking flat, man. So I have to order. Um, sitting on BF Goodrich Comp 2s. Pretty good tires. You guys can see that. So, about to order one for that side. The other one blew on me like two weeks ago. So, about to order another one. But, anyways. Show y'all the crank. So we're sitting. Journals don't look bad, man. No see any scorch, no heat marks or nothing, man. It looks like a pretty healthy model to be honest with you. So I'm gonna turn the camera on. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, thanks much love. So um what goes from here for the build? Uh, I think I'm starting to get really deep and comes with nervousness and anxiety and spending money so um, next step take it to a machinist get it cleaned out who knows a three liter stroke might be in the, the plan but uh, for me anything that comes with doing this comes with a lot of research um, been looking around at some machine shops um, I'm in the southern part of the, the of the country so I live in Paragol, Arkansas. I've probably said this many times in my videos. So I'm close to Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Nashville, Dallas, six, seven, eight hours away, Little Rock, Arkansas. So I'm still looking around for machinists who would, you know, work on these type of motors as far as just getting it cleaned up. Should be just typical basic machine work. Um, they won't be assembly, I'll be doing the assembly myself. Um, I right nerve wracking. So, um, and what else comes with it, like I said, spending money. Uh, Want to be transparent with you guys. Yes, it's an Audi S4, and we know it comes with cha-ching. Um, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I don't have no AdSense revenue coming in. This is all just me going to work from, five, from six to five, six to six, and just saving up as I go and try to find me good deals. Um, so like I said, I want to be transparent with you guys. All your dreams, but comes at a cost so um, haven't bought pistons or rods yet still like I said still doing some research don't know if I want to do a three liter stroke yet but um, that's it with that guys so I'll try to still pump out content because everything is dismantled I need to do some work on the chassis some clean up itself um, next week is Memorial so maybe going to Atlanta with you know the, the wife and um, chill I'll spend some time because I've just been working consistently so just take me a little break but definitely want to find me a machinist and see what's my options and definitely if I don't do the three liter truck bill because I need to find uh, ABK from B6A4 three liter crankshaft once I can find me a pretty good deal I'll probably hop on get me the, the, the piston rod assembly but if I can't I just stay with 2.7 and get me Pistons and Rods Forge. So, thank you guys for watching. I can keep going on and on. And uh, thanks for supporting the build. Thanks for watching videos. Peace out, guys.